Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ryan here from Mr. Epical Gaming here with a Minecraft tutorial on how to get a Minecraft server with using Mineshafter Bucket and Himachi. So, first, I'm going to have you open up your browser and type in mineshafter.appspot.com. That link will be in the description. Um, you're going to go to Downloads. Then, Mineshafter Proxy for Servers is what you're going to download. And it might say that. You're just going to keep it. You're going to drag that to your desktop, and now you're going to go to bucket.org, which will also be in the description. All links will be in the description, so I don't have to say this in the future. And you're going to go to, here, this will be in the description, you can go to Windows, Download Craft Buckets, Latest Build. And you're going to click that right there, Keep, and it should take a couple seconds, so while that's going, I'm going to have you go to google.com. You don't have to go go to Google. You're going to go to that third link in the description, which is Download Himachi, and you're going to click Conditions of Use and Download Now. I have like five versions of it because I failed at this tutorial about five times. And once you're there, you're going to down, you're going to, oh, not open it. You're going to drag the craft bucket download back onto your desktop like before and create a new, create a new folder. Call it MC for Minecraft Server. It can be whatever you want. You're gonna drag drag those two into the folder, and then once you're when you have Hamachi downloaded, you're gonna run it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna finish it. You're just gonna complete the down, complete the installation. Um, once you're there, you can keep your browser up, but this link will also be in the description. Um. It is the run.batch file. Um, I went ahead and um, went ahead and put that, made it myself, so you don't have to go to Notepad and do it yourself and copy and paste all that poop in through there. So that's a glow in the dark cat. But my computer is being slow right now. All right, you're gonna drag the run.batch file onto your desktop into the Minecraft server folder that you just created and you're gonna X out of that RAR file and you're just gonna double click the run oh okay first you're gonna rename Minecraft server you're gonna take away the dash and if you have recorded it or downloaded it more than once you're gonna take away the three and you're gonna take away all the numbers in craft bucket and just have it as craft bucket and now you're gonna run it and it should work I don't know why it doesn't work for those but it's working now and once it is done okay once you finish it you can just click X X out of it and you're gonna go to server PvP true if you want um online mode is false change that to false people are always like ooh I'm trying to get online so I'm gonna make online mode to true but no I don't know why, but no. Um, MOTD is what it says in the welcoming screen. I'm just going to say hello there. Um, game mode 0 is survival. Game mode 1 is creative. And maybe 2 is hardcore. I've never tried that, though. Um, 1 is, I guess, easy. And then 2 is normal. 3 is hard. 0 is peaceful for difficulty and now once you're there you're gonna X out you're gonna you're gonna go there later again for bucket you're gonna double click that and my I don't know I think it's about to storm outside but worn on overload is gonna be false spawn radius is one um, use exact login location is true and that is it you're gonna X out of that and save that and now you're gonna go to your Hamachi. You da you should have just downloaded Hamachi. And when you get there, you're gonna create a new network. I just did, and I named it Mr. Epical Gaming from my last tutorial that I failed at. And you're everyone who you want to play on your server with you. You're gonna have to tell them to join your Hamachi network. Um, your maximum can only be three, and you're gonna tell them to join an existing network you're gonna give them your network ID and password 
and they will be connected and it will look like this this these are my connections the people who are connected to my Hamachi server but you're gonna go back into server properties and you're gonna right click the the uh, top numbers and you click copy IPv4 address and you're gonna put that in server IP and you're gonna paste it and you're just gonna X out of that now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ooh actually you don't have to do this so never mind alright you're gonna X out of that Hamachi and now you're just gonna click double click run and there you go it should be going Alrighty, I just skipped all the loading. You're going to have to keep this up when you're playing, and you're going to go to your Mineshafter proxy account, which is the real Minecraft launcher, and you're going to log in to your account. If you don't have a Mineshafter account, you need to do that before this tutorial. I guess I'll put a little annotation at the beginning of the video, so you guys will see. Um, let me delete this one. Okay, now you're going to add server. You're going to go to um, server name. You're going to call it, I guess I'll call it tutorial, like that one was just called. Server address is your Hamachi code, the one that you just copied into there, the IPv4 address, server address. You're going to copy that, copy and paste that into there, and then bam. Um, It's not always going to look like this, but I will... I have looked around on YouTube for six months tops, at least six months, and I have never found a working tutorial. And I tried this out. I did all I put all the tutorials together that I could find. I put them all into one folder, all that stuff, mixed them all up, and it worked, and now I'm sharing this with you guys, so comment, share, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I am very active. I'm, I'm always active on this YouTube account. So, um, Ryan out.